Hi guys, if you are thinking of buying an iPhone 16 or 16 Pro for its astrophotography feature, then this video is for you. Now the biggest difference between these two phones is the camera. The 16 Pro has 3 lenses and 16 has 2 lenses. The third is the 5x telephoto lens in 16 Pro and 16 Pro also offers ProRes and ProRAW which offers you the raw data for your photos and videos. The 5x telephoto lens is useful for taking astrophotos because it will add some depth to your photos. But if you want to take astrophotos just with your phone, then you are limited to take only the wide field view of the sky. What I mean by that, the photos of the Milky Way you see on the social media or the photos like this. Now with 16 Pro's 5x lens, you can zoom on the moon, but it will not show you much details of the moon. So if you cannot take the photos of the moon, then forget about other planets. So if you want to take photos of the planets and details of the moon, then you will need a supporting equipment like telescope. Now while using your phone with your telescope, you will need to align your camera lens exactly above the eyepiece on the phone adapter. Only then you will be able to take good photos of any object you're focusing on. If there is a little bit misalignment, your phone will not be able to take good photos. So now when you're using your phone with your telescope and eyepiece, you will align only one lens of your camera. Whether your phone has three cameras or two cameras, you will be using only one lens of your camera. So if you are using 16 Pro, the other two lenses will not be in use while taking photos with your telescope. And most of the time, you will be using the main lens of your phone. And the main lens on 16 and 16 Pro is the same, which is I think 48 megapixels. And most of the time, you will be using only that lens while taking photos with the telescope. So what I'm saying is that instead of buying 16 Pro, you can go for iPhone 16. Why I'm saying this is because there is a big price difference between these two phones. Now in India, iPhone 16 cost 80,000 rupees. That is almost thousand dollars. And iPhone 16 Pro cost 120,000 rupees, which is around $1,500. That's too much. And I think in US, it costs like seven to eight hundred dollars for iPhone 16 and eleven hundred to twelve hundred dollars for iPhone 16 Pro. So before buying iPhone 16, even I was confused whether to go for iPhone 16 Pro or iPhone 16 base model. Then I thought, uh, what are the features which uh, iPhone 16 Pro is offering me? The main three features were like the camera, ProRes and ProRAW, which is good for post-processing of your photos. But with iPhone 16, with third-party apps, I can get the raw images. And in both the phones, your phone will normally take a photo with 24 megapixels. If you want your phone to take image with full capacity of its lens, then you have to manually activate the heaf mode on your phone, which is available in both iPhone Pro and iPhone 16 base model. Now for me, the only extra thing iPhone 16 Pro was offering me was the 5x telephoto lens. Then I thought I don't need that 5x telephoto lens because I already have a telephoto lens. This is my telephoto lens and it costs more than iPhone itself. So most of the features for iPhone 16 Pro were not useful for me and most importantly it's not value for money. So if you are confused like I was whether to buy iPhone 16 or 16 Pro, I would suggest go with the iPhone 16 and save your money. If you're in India, you will save 40,000 rupees or maybe 45,000 if you add credit cards, if you get some offers. And if you're in the US, you will save 300 to $400. What you can do with 300 to $400, if you don't have a telescope, you can buy a good basic telescope with your $300, $400 you save or $40,000 in India you save, you can buy a really good telescope 
and you can use your telescope for astrophotography or stargazing. It will eventually get you more interested in stargazing and astrophotography and I think that will be a better use of your money if the astrophotography feature is a deal breaker for you be choosing between iPhone 16 and 16 Pro. So that was the aim of this video for you to make a better buying decision and save your money and buy something which offers more value for the money you pay for and in this case i think iphone 16 pro do not offer much value for its cost so i hope this video will help you to make a decision and if you just want to buy iphone 16 pro to show off like most people in india then you should buy gold plated iphone which cost sixty thousand dollars i think just kidding i will see you in the next video bye